My name is Dave Bugney, and I'm president of the Friends of the Eagle Creek Watershed. Eagle Fern Park, one of the jewels of Clackamas County's park system in Northwest Oregon, has been a popular public attraction since the county began acquiring land for it in 1934. The park is home to a beautiful, mature forest with old growth characteristics. As Vera Lynch wrote, as the foothills became denuded through logging, this is the one place where townspeople can see the Douglas firs and cedars as the pioneers saw them. Eagle Creek, the largest, cleanest, least developed, and most productive fish stream in the lower Clackamas River Basin, flows through the heart of the park. Beginning in the 1950s and extending through the early 1970s, the park provided a dam swimming hole within Eagle Creek for summer visitors. This reservoir was constructed with a reinforced concrete apron and grade beam structure spanning across the channel with concrete abutments at each end. The concrete structure had an overall width of 105 feet with an opening of 60 feet between the abutments. To raise the water level about four feet, a series of steel posts were inserted into the concrete and wooden stop logs or flashboards were slid in between the posts. The concrete apron downstream of the grade beam was used to restrain the structure from sliding when water levels were raised. Since then, the swimming hole has not been used, but the concrete works remain, have become deteriorated, and also undermined, creating a safety hazard. In 2020, the planning and design phase began to remove this barrier and return Eagle Creek to its free-flowing condition. This is a brief history of that transformation. This low head dam structure is a significant limiting factor for fish. It creates a low flow passage barrier for late summer and early fall spawners such as coho and chinook salmon and for juvenile salmonids seeking out high quality habitat or cold water areas as flows decrease during the summer months and water temperatures increase. Over the course of one week in September 2021, the concrete obstruction was removed and the stream returned to a natural state utilizing placements of large wood and boulders while maintaining cool pools in a beautiful setting for visitors to enjoy. Private foundations provided the funding to cover the majority of the cost of this work. Observations revealed that some undermining of the concrete dam structure had occurred. As a result, voids were created beneath the dam, allowing leakage. This may have been the primary reason for its abandonment as a water retaining structure for a swimming hole. Bedrock is exposed in the bed of the channel, both upstream and downstream of the existing dam structure. Results of hydraulic computer modeling suggest that removal of the dam results in only minor changes in stream conditions at the site, except directly at the dam structure itself. The water surface elevation and local water depth does decrease both upstream and downstream of the dam, but pockets of deeper water remain, presumably where there are existing low points in the bedrock surface. Removal of the dam has only a limited effect on water velocity and shear stress. Shear stress is the force applied by the flowing water to its boundary. Turbidity readings were taken downstream throughout the demolition and log placement work to ensure excessive sediment was not transported downstream. A portable bandsaw was used to cut the concrete reinforcing steel to facilitate removal of segments of the concrete grade beam and apron. Dave Stewart, a fish habitat restoration biologist with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife, will describe the importance of this project to the Eagle Creek watershed and the Clackamas River Basin. A lot of people look at this as maybe a small low head barrier. Some people might even think, what is the benefit of removing a low head dam that's been in there for 70 years? And I think we're seeing it today. Right here in this pool, just upstream of our dam, are adult coho, ESA listed fish that are now above the dam, where the dam used to be, and utilizing and working their way up to spawn in Eagle Creek. So this wouldn't be happening right now without the removal of that dam. We'd have fish that were downstream, spawning in other areas, probably sub you know, par compared to what we'd like to see. So there's no question the more barriers we remove, whether it's Eagle Creek, trips to Eagle Creek, the Clackamas River, it's all a cumulative effect 
and the more of that we can do, the better. Within the lower Clackamas, Eagle Creek is no question one of the highest priorities uh, for rest restoring populations. So it's a focus for us, and I think if we were to choose one area to work in um, for tributaries of Clackamas, this would probably be the, the place you would start. Following removal of the low head dam, the second phase of this project entailed the placement of a small engineered log jam utilizing the adjacent western red cedar tree, which had become undermined and was a safety hazard. The cedar tree was cut to the appropriate length. The trench was dug deep into the bank to firmly fix the tree. Then the tree's bowl was lifted and rotated into place. In addition to this cedar tree, a large Douglas fir log from a site that had suffered from last year's Riverside forest fire formed the simple jam. Note the blackened bark on the log and how the contractor damaged the exposed end of the log to make it appear more natural, as if it had broken in a windstorm. The bank portions of the two logs are buried and the opposite ends are fastened together with a long steel rod to work as a simple horizontal truss to resist hydraulic loads. The connection is complete with the steel rod and nuts. Lastly, large boulders are added into the stream to add flow complexity, retain spawning gravels, deepen pools upstream, and to potentially deflect some of the stream's current away from the left bank abutment of the park's signature cable suspension bridge just downstream. It's amazing the effect months of planning and a week of restoration work can have on such a beautiful and important spot in our watershed.